men are more skilled in this, like they are more creative, number one. And also, most women prefer to get their nails done by men. My name is Aisha Mwini and uh, I own Aura Nail Spots where we do nails, and manicures, pedicures, acrylics, all that stuff. I started Aura Nail Spot in July of 2019. It's been up, ups and downs, but mostly good, I can say that. Yeah, I've learned a lot, patience, growth. My sister, yeah, she's the one who was here, so she's the one who kept telling me about, you know, how things are in Kenya. I've been staying in the U.S. for more than 10 years. At the time, um, nail business was like, it was booming uh, in Nairobi. Because for me, initially, I wanted to come do um, hair, a, a hair salon, because I'm so into hair, natural hair. But then my sister suggested to me about nails, then that's how we, we ended up doing nails. And so far, it's been so good for us. I chose Nairobi town, a CBD, to be precise, because this everyone comes to Nairobi town from all over the all over the country. Or should I say, all over the world? The population and more people are, are open-minded, and they they would easily try new things. I chose the name Aura because uh, Aura is my second born's uh, name. That's her name. She's six now. Actually, the pink that was her choice of color. We asked her because she she was she loved the idea of the salon and she was like, "Mommy, why why don't we just do it in pink?" And I also, of course, I also love any woman would love pink. Pink is so calming and relaxing and girlish, definitely. I got a loan from my. Uh, my late husband, uh, I lost my husband last year. So um, yeah, he's the one who facilitated. And I started with about, it wasn't that much when you first started. I had like, I'd say, how much? That was like 400K. Cause we were in a much smaller place, much, way much smaller spaces. We only had like four, four or five workstations. We've inspired a lot of people to the point that now everyone wants to open a nail shop. And by that, it's nails, nail business is so congested right now. I don't know about other people, but I feel like it's so, like you go on Instagram, you swipe every five seconds, you see different salons of nail shops. In the beginning, it was hard because I was new in Nairobi. I had to ask around, of course, with the help of friends and my sister. But over time, like for now, we get like almost every day, you get people asking, looking for jobs. We have to make sure that they match our standards. And if they don't and they are good still, we just polish them before we give them the job. We train here at a fee for the ones which are um, like green green. You'll definitely need manicure, tables, the chairs for your clients and for the nail technicians, pedicure stations, UV machines, acrylics, um, products and the gels. It's a lot of stuff. You have to sit down. The list is actually long. Most importantly, you need good employees who know what, what, what to do. We have more male employees than uh, female employees. The reason being, first of all, you find like I have nothing against my fellow women, but I find that um, men are more skilled in this. Like, they are more creative, number one. And also, most women prefer to get their nails done by men. My good name is Michael Ogundi. Uh, I started working here two years back. It's the way you treat your client. The client is not stubborn. Is upon you because when you bring when you bring the the moods into work is where the whole thing just collides. Understand? So if you treat your client near your clients right, they will always they will always be the best because I've never been I've never had a stubborn client. A stubborn client is always stubborn when you are the one being stubborn.
I think it's just being you, just doing you, and uh, doing the best that you can in terms of the services that you provide and how you treat your clients. It matters a lot. But basically, it's all about patience and uh, just good work. Yeah, ladies will always talk. Eh? Our marketing strategy, we, um, number one, we, of course, we use influencers and then uh, social media marketing, um, like um, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and uh, of course, we try to make sure that we have a good number of returning clients. Anyone out there, it's how somebody is made feel when they go somewhere, so we make sure they're as comfortable, they get exactly what they want when they come here. Yeah. So that you know, with other, you might find like with other pages, other social media um, pages that you'll see, you can, somebody would order like a dress, when it comes, it's totally, it's totally different from what they ordered. So for us, we try to make sure when a client sees something, something on our page, we, we, we can match exact thing that they saw, what they want. I got to know about Aura Nails uh, when I visited my bank at the Junction Mall. And uh, I found a lady, whoever was serving me, uh, the person who was serving me at the, at the bank, I noticed her nails and they were really looking good. So I got interested and uh, I was like, uh, where did you do your nails? I really like them. So she told me she does them in town at uh, Bihi Towers. So she gave me a uh, contact, whoever does her nails. But that day when I came, she wasn't around. And uh, I got, uh, when I got here, it was so busy. So the only person who was available was Maggie. And since then, she's the one who's been doing my nails. I liked her work. And uh, yeah, I forgot about the other one. I don't even know her. <laughs> I've never met her. But uh, anytime I come, I always ask for Maggie. She does a good job. My name is Maggie. Uh, I'm a nail technician at Ora Nails. And I've been working here for over one and a half years. I would say it's the service I give at the first time. And also how I handle my clients, my work. It gives them a good service. I'm always humble. <laughs> I think I'm humble. <laughs> yeah. And I, they, they give referrals. I've had clients for my clients. So, and also, my God has been faithful. <laughs> I started last year, I think in April. Yeah, sometimes in April last year. And I don't plan on uh, going elsewhere, <laughs> unless the quality changes. I've visited uh, various places that is uh, still in town. And uh, for like two years, I've not done gel. Before I came here now, uh, I had not done gel polish before because of the frustrations that I went through. You get uh, chipped nails, and then um, the nails become so weak. But uh, since I visited here, my nails have never been weak because of uh, over bathing or anything. And also the polish doesn't chip easily. Yeah, it takes about two, I mean, uh, three to four weeks, standard without chipping. I've referred two of my friends. I know one has come, the other one, I think she's still held up. Number one, uh, cleanliness. Number two, the products that you're using, uh, how you're treating your customers and also um, more so at the reception when you come. Are they warm to you? How are they treating you? Is their attitude right? And if it's not, I'll not come back. A client, like, they come here, maybe some of them, they come here stressed, and you have to know how to deal with them. You might make nails that they don't like. One may come not knowing what to do with their nails, and you know you have to help them choose the right thing to do. If she's not comfortable with me, we can always give you another person that you're comfortable with. Yeah.
we have two branches and there are different prices. The reason being, we incur different costs uh, on our different branches. Uh, like here in, here in town at Bihi Towers, the prices are from 600 to 5,000. At next gen, they start from 1,000 to 5,500 per service, depending on what's done. We also offer nail classes, and it's, um, it's usually a six-week uh, class, and uh, we charge 40,000 for that. We provide all the materials for that. And by the time the person is done within those six weeks, they are good. I love making nails. It's my passion. I just did nail technology. Actually, they trained me, and they gave me a job. I'm very satisfied. I love what I learned for. They give me a chance and I'm happy. When Corona happened, it really affected our sales and all, but then we picked up again. And uh, for now, um, now the prices of products have gone so high, which is also affecting us. And for us, we don't want to raise the prices for our clients. We want to maintain the prices, but it's really affecting us because of the price. And the dollar now, it's much higher. They can never lack challenges in this line of business. When you miss your appointment and you just collide with the client, I think time is a factor. And then the client finds another client seated. They start arguing, you know. It's, it's kind of a turn off. I used to be this person who wanted things to happen to happen overnight, but now I've learned to I've really learned to be patient. If you're getting into this business just because of money, you you, you can just easily uh, give up. But if you get in here, make sure it's also a passion, because that way you won't get bored along the way and be like, oh, I'm not making any money, I'm just giving up. I didn't start making profits until after like almost six months. I was just all the money was being popped in back to the business. I think it's the most. Uh, comfortable profession right now. Uh, for me, I'm just comfortable with it. I'm happy with it. I enjoy doing what I'm, I'm doing. And uh, it's just what motivates me, you know, getting up every day, knowing that I'm coming to do something, something awesome, just to make someone smile. It's just it's a privilege, yeah. Research, research, research. Yeah, talk to people, do your research and um, other things you learn along the way, like everyone else. Because you can't, I'm telling you, it's never enough. If me, here today, I'm still learning a lot of new things. I can, I can remove, I can soak off, I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I can do a gel application, yeah, that's all I know, but everything is done by this case here. They do an amazing job. Welcome to Aura Nails. We are located at uh, Behi Towers on the 8th floor in town along Moy Avenue. Our second branch is along Mombasa Road at uh, Next Gen Mall on the 1st floor, 28. You can also follow us on uh, Instagram. Our Instagram handle is Aura Nail Sport. Our Facebook handle is Aura Nail Sport. Our Twitter handle is Aura Nail Sport. And our TikTok handle is Aura Nail Sport. Here at Aura Nail Sport, customer satisfaction is our priority. And this is the place where quality is assured and also the place where your expectations will be exceeded. Yeah.